translating your website to different languages using Convey This. That's what we're going to try to do tonight. Hey, welcome to another Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Uh, tonight I wanted to go over a really cool add-on um, addition to your Wix website that will translate your site to multiple different languages with very simple uh, few-step process. And it's going to be using uh, the website Convey This. So it's conveythis.com. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our uh, conveythis.com dashboard and go into our domain. So when you set up an, an account with uh, Convey This, you have the option of multiple different tiers. Um, Convey This actually reached out to me and asked me to do this video and uh, allowed me to use the, the pro version to show you guys how to um, how to do this. After you go through the the uh, account setup, and you go through um, the email confirmation, all the stuff you would normally do setting up an account uh, with a website, you log out back into your dashboard, and you go into My Domains. Under My Domains, um, you're going to click on the Add Domain. Add your domain. So we did WixFundamentals.com. After that's created, we're going to go to our settings. And here's where you can kind of really customize the uh, convey this plugin on your site. A few things that I noticed when I um, started this, when I first did this, and I ran into a couple of couple of issues, couldn't figure out why it was, wasn't giving me any options to translate. You got to make sure to, to translate your, um, to, to add your target languages. So if you have, a wide variety of different clientele, whether they're coming from different countries, um, speaking different languages, you're going to want to make sure you list all these. So in my uh, my area, English and Spanish are the most common. So I'm going to basically just choose Spanish. And then you just choose the, through the drop down, you can see they have a ton of different languages as you can um, translate to. So once that's all done, you have a couple more options. And this is one thing that I did notice, um, which is going to help with your mobile site, is where you put your um, your widget, your translating uh, button. So you're going to want it on the left, not the right. So that on your mobile site, your Mobile menu is on your right. You're going to want this on the left. If not, it's going to go over top of your mobile menu. So that's just a quick little tidbit. If, and when you design your site, if for some reason you put your mobile mobile menu on the left, you're going to make sure this is switched to right. I'm going to have position type is fixed. Here you can choose um, short text, full text, without text. And if you look on the top right here, it gives us what it looks like if you change everything. So we'll just go to short text. You can change the rectangular flag to a square flag to a circle or to without the flag at all. So um, you can go as minimalist as you want. Or stick with the rectangular flag, flag here. Um, I chose to highly convey this logo. I'm not sure the different tiers of their uh, their program, there may be certain tiers that don't allow you to take that logo off. So if you if this is grayed out for some reason, that's probably why. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. So if we need to change anything down here, we can do that. This is your text that you're going to need or your, your script. We're going to copy it to our clipboard and go into our editor. So here's the editor for Wix Fundamentals. 
we're going to go to our settings, tracking and analytics. So this is just as if we were adding a um, Google Ads tracking code and an analytics, your Facebook pixel. So we're going to go down to the body. Okay. I have already implemented this on the site. I actually did this last night. Uh, we're going to go to so new tool since this is something new. Add our code. Make sure it's on all pages. Body start. Hit apply. And then when we publish the site, we should have the widget. So it pops up here. And it's fairly quick. It's a fairly quick translating service. Now it's going to be longer depending on the amount of text that you have. You may have a little bit of an issue with some of your um, menu stuff if it's longer in translation. Now what's really cool with this is it will give you the more if you need to. So if the um, translation makes your menu too long, too wide, you'll get the, the more button. Okay. I have the more button right now. If I go to Spanish, it goes to more. If I go back to English, it shows more, but the minute you come up, it takes it away. So that is really cool. Now, the only thing that I saw that it did not translate was an iframe form. So I use Cognito Forms. If I go and translate this, it translates everything on the Wix site except your forms. For the simple fact that this is an iframe, this is not coded into the site from Wix. My guess is if you're using Wix forms, it's going to translate because it's coming right from the Wix servers, right come from the Wix platform. But that's really it. I mean, it's literally a matter of a few clicks. This took me a little while to set up initially because I got the code wrong. I put it in the wrong spot. I put it in um, in the header por portion of the uh, tracking and analytics. I tried adding an HTML uh, box and putting it in there. I just couldn't figure it out, and that was my own stupidity. Um, once I realized I should put it in the body, basically in the beginning, it was very, very simple, very, very quick. So to implement this on a Wix site, I would say from start to finish, maybe five to ten minutes, and your site now translates automatically with this button. So that is how you can easily translate your website to multiple different languages using conveythis.com. I'll make sure to put a uh, link in the description to conveythis.com. Like I say, try it out. I, they do have a free account. It limits a little bit of how many translations you can have, how many words can be translated, but it's a great way to try it out. And if you see the value in it, which I definitely do, you can upgrade to a different tier, which gives you a couple more options, a couple more um, additions to the amount of words that they will translate for you. They also have a custom manual translation service where they will actually go and translate your site manually. They charge per word. Uh, so if that is something that is useful for you, something that you may find that the auto translation is not up to your standards, you can try that out as well. So again, thank you for watching Wix Fundamentals. Don't forget to like the, the video, subscribe to the page, share with your Wix friends, and also if you have any issues with your Wix websites, whether you're having trouble with an element, implementing something, or designing a, a page, or even designing your entire website. Don't hesitate to reach out to me either at info at wixfundamentals.com, comment in the uh, comment box, or you can check out 
uh, wixfundamentals.com. We have all the other YouTube videos there. We have uh, a form on there to contact us if you're having Wix problems or if you need uh, help with the design and we'll go from there. So again, thanks again for watching and have a great night. <music>